All right, people, what is up and welcome back. It is Saturday, Halloween today, actually. Um, and we're at Bucky's right now, filling up, and then we are heading down on the boat today. First thing we're doing, targeting flounder. That's the main goal. And then uh, anything else that bites, so stay tuned. And uh, I wanted to do this intro right here, so I didn't have to do it while we were down there on the boat with the wind and whatever. It's supposed to be a nice day though, low winds, somewhere around like eight or nine miles per hour, and then low tide this morning at about 10.30. So I think it's gonna be good, feeling good. A little cool outside, it's like 50 degrees right now, but that should warm up pretty soon. So stay tuned, let's see if we can get after them. Probably 15, yeah. No, it's not. Get the net. It's like a 16, 15. Yeah, but it's a key. It's like a 15. That's a good one. <clears throat> Sir. Sweet. Nice. Thank good you. Good job. All right, guys, hooked up. He's on. Little guy? Small. He's small. No, he's way small. Pretty sure I have a flounder on here. Let right, me count to ten. I've got him. Oh, get the net. He got both hooks in his mouth. He's hooked twice. Both my lures. Okay, okay, finally. First flounder. Missed one. Everyone's been catching one, talking crap to Cameron over here. Well, that right there is a good one. Look how fat this thing is. And he has both my hooks in his mouth on the tandem rig. Both the gulps. So, probably just going to have to get rid of that rig. All right, y'all check this out. Both gulps down his mouth. Pretty crazy. Dang, he just swam in. Ooh, boy. Good one. Oh, good God. That's a nice one. Got him. Hey, you got your mullet still. <laughs> there you go. It's a good one. It's almost as big as that one I caught when I was like two years old. All right, guys. So with the mullet, you can do a Carolina rig, or I'm just simple with it. Jig head, one fourth ounce. You can hook them to the tails or hook them to the lips. If you're gonna let it sit out there, don't plan on reeling it in. I usually do it through the tail, just like that. But if you want to work it, kind of like a lure, then you can hook it through the head. But right, there we go. Keep them lively. That'll keep them on the bottom. Cast them out there and see what happens. Cast them out there and wait. And when you reel them in to recast, you either want to reel super slow or get them up on top of the water and water ski them. I missed the hook set. It just started recording. Where's the net? Stop. Oh my God, you're getting burned. Ultralight rod. This is my little reel. Oh, he's small. No, he's a, he'll keep. I'm be, no, no. It's going to be close again on the flounder pounder and that makes nine fish in the boat dose on the pounder all right my dad is hooked up again on like his two or three casts later what we're talking about is we found some flounder on our leg on channel. the flounder pounder which is funny because i doubted the flounder pounder this morning now he's putting a whooping on me that's a good one another one <laughs> anyway guys, we're gonna head out, we're gonna call it a day. Ended up with 10 flounder. I still only had one in the boat. Scott, you caught what, four? Four keepers, yeah. Four keepers, yeah. And then my dad caught, I think, five. Well, actually, probably, I think they caught more, but five keepers, yeah. And I only had that one. But yeah, it was a good day. Nice weather out here right now. Um, a bunch of people out, so it's, I don't know, there's like 30 waders just right here at Seawolf. Um, and yeah, that's the plan. We're gonna head back to the dike where we launched, put the boat on the trailer, and then head home, and we'll see y'all there to clean up one of these flounder and then cook it. All right guys, what is up? It's actually a couple days later. Um, we tried to film this video yesterday, but everything just went to crap and we just couldn't get it to come together. So we're redoing it today. So we have two flounder flays right here. We slice them up into little strips and that's because we are going to be making tempura fried flounder 
sushi rolls. So it's gonna be pretty fun, something I've never done before, except for the other day when it didn't work out. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna put this all together. We're gonna show you all the ingredients, go over it, and then uh, fry, the, fry up the fish and start rolling these sushi rolls. All right, so you can put pretty much anything you want in your sushi roll. We are no experts, and today we're just gonna be using cucumber, avocado, and cream cheese, like a basic sushi roll. And then of course the fish, which is the main component. Other than that, we have sushi rice right here, which is just, well, it's sushi rice. And then I think it's like one and a half cups of rice to two cups of water, somewhere around, somewhere around there. And then we took it out, added some mirin to it, and now it's just awesome and like really sweet rice. And then other than that, we have the nori right here, which is just the seaweed they used to wrap up the roll. So we're gonna get to cooking this fish and then we'll show you how we put it all together. All right guys, so we have our oil heated up over here. And let me tell you what, it is a pain in the butt to get your oil at the right temperature on an electric stove like this. I always have trouble. But anyway, so all we do, we're gonna take our strips of fish I cut the flounder into long strips like that, kind of like you would like shrimp if you were making shrimp to pearl or whatever. So we're just gonna throw it in some flour to start off. So dry it off, dredge it a little bit, just like that, and then we'll shake it around. And after that, we have tempura batter right here. So we just bought, you know, your basic tempura batter. You just literally just that in a little bit of water, cold water. So after we get out of the flour, we're just gonna go straight in that. And this stuff is kind of thin. Um, I added a little bit too much water, I think. But the other day, whenever we tried to do this, it was too thick. And then our tempura turned out being like really thick and it wouldn't fry right. And then we put panko on it because you know, usually whenever you see like tempura fried shrimp or whatever, straighten hot grease. It's a little hot, but it should be fine. But usually whenever you see like tempura fried shrimp or whatever, it looks kind of crunchy like they have panko or something. So we did that and it worked good, but then the panko would get really brown really quick and the tempura would be soft still. So we're just doing thin tempura this time. And we're just gonna repeat this with all the fish that we have. Um, and then we will start mixing up the rolls. So it does not take long to fry these little strips as you can see, almost done already because the fish is so thin in there. That's what we cut into little baby strips. That it only takes maybe two minutes to get a complete fry on it. Um, you're just looking for it to be golden brown like whenever you fry most stuff. Some of these are done right here. Perfect golden brown, as you can see. We're gonna put it inside our foil. And see, this is what I'm talking about. I turned the oil down because it was smoking, getting too hot, and now it's too low. So if you have your oil too low, it's gonna soak, soak up all the grease, which is a problem we had the other day too. It really sucks, but, so those are done. We're gonna let those two sit for a little bit longer, even though they're probably cooked, I wanna get a little crispier. Anyways, after those come out, Throw in the rest of it, which is like three or four pieces. And uh, like I said three times already, we're gonna, then we'll start building the roll. All right guys, so we got our fish all done right here. It looks absolutely amazing. Um, we're just gonna start making these rolls. So like I said, cucumber, avocado, cream cheese, and then sushi rice. So number one thing here, get your fingers wet. This is gonna help that rice from sticking to your hands, sticking to your fingers. And then we just go for it. So we got our nori laid down right there. We got our rice, quite a bit. Start laying it on there. It's gonna take more than that. All around there. And then we just spread it out all over the roll. And you just wanna leave about an inch at the bottom. And I am no expert here. I've made sushi maybe like five or six times before. Always tastes great. Sometimes it doesn't look the best though. So now we got our rice laid on there, nice and even. And we're gonna start with our cream cheese. We like to use big hunks of cream cheese like that. Although you just wanna make sure not to overfill your roll and we probably will overfill it. It is what it is guys. So cream cheese, cucumber, couple pieces of avocado. I'm not really big on avocado, but Nolan likes it, I think. Right, Nolan? Mm -hmm. All right, good to know. There we go. And then our fish, so boom. Looks like a shrimp. Lay that right there. Get two of these, just like that. And now all we're gonna do is roll. And uh, a lot of people like to put saran wrap on their bamboo rolling thing. I personally do not like saran wrap. I, it's just a pain in the butt. It gets caught up all in the roll to me. And it always just comes off. Okay. So here we go. We're just going to take it. We're going to go over. And we're going to tuck back in. Just like that. And then we want to form our roll. So we put it up. Making it nice and tight here. Not too rough though. And we roll a little bit more. 
pull this out the back, and we just make sure the roll is nice and formed. There we go. It's kind of a square, it's a little loose on this end, but hey, for the first one of the day, I think it turned out good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a very sharp knife, fillet knife or whatever else, get the knife wet and then slice it. And just about every time you slice it, you can get it wet again or uh, just wipe it off with a paper towel. The wetter the knife is, or the more wet it is, I don't know. Uh, the more wet the knife is, the easier it's gonna cut through and not stick to the rice. So we have our fillet knife, knife nice and wet. We're just gonna cut the ends off because they're ugly. Check out guys, that's what it looks like on the inside. Okay, get it wet again. You're just gonna go ahead and cut it in half right here. As you can tell, my flay knife is not as sharp as I would like it. I've just been having trouble getting an edge on this thing. It worked great for like two years, I didn't even sharpen it once. And, uh, and now I just can't seem to keep an edge on it. Just gonna cut it into a few pieces. So we like to eat the ends for snacks over here while we're making it. But uh, we're just gonna plate these up right here. Something like that. And as you can see right there, See, I didn't tuck the seaweed enough on the bottom side, so it messed up a little bit. Still is going to be great though. And then these are the ones, me and Nolan's, like I just said, we snack on those. All right, we're gonna make another roll, but on this one, we're gonna put the rice on the outside. We're gonna see how that turns out. All right, ready for roll number two, seaweed. Rice, we need a little bit more than last time, so we're just gonna get two bear paw scoops. <laughs> Our hands wet and start spreading around. Now on this one, we're gonna cover the whole roll. All right, so after we have our rice all spread out, we're gonna put a little bit of sesame seeds on there. Um, I wish we had black sesame seeds, but we do not. So that's that. Now we flip it. Um, it should stick to the nori, although this is where the saran wrap is supposed to be. Bonk. Okay, Whew. hope that stays together. We're gonna start layering it up now. So cream cheese, boom, boom, cucumber. And we don't put, well, we have put sauce in our rolls before. Quite a bit, actually, right, Nolan? Mm -hmm. um, but last time we went to put sauce, man, it was just overpowering almost. Fish. So on these, I'm not putting any sauce inside the roll. We're going to put it on top if we want it. Okay, and then a little bit of avocado. Okay, just like that. And now this is where we either put our sauce inside or not. So we're going to fold it. We're gonna make sure that we keep that tucked in nice and tight. We're gonna go down. And we're gonna roll this over a little bit more than we did last time. Okay. I feel rice falling off in my hands. Are you ready for the big reveal? Here we go, guys. Bam. Like I said, I'm not a sushi chef, but after that one, may have to reconsider. So, um, we start with the ends here. Like always, we cut off the ends and we give it a sample. Oh, y'all look at that. Tell me that doesn't look like a masterpiece. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Looks like a masterpiece. Tastes like a masterpiece. Presentation is 50% of it. All right, get the knife nice and wet. Once again. And slice down the middle. From this one, some of the rice is going to fall out. That's fine. Now we just keep making even slices, bite-sized pieces. Okay guys, here's our finished product right here. We added panko to the top of those, which kind of just looks like Parmesan, but I promise you it's panko. Give it a little bit of crunch. We have some spicy mayo over here and some hoisin over there. And uh, then we have some soy sauce, sriracha, and a little bit of honey in there, I think is what I put. Mix that up and it makes a nice spicy soy sauce, a little bit of sweetness. So we're gonna go ahead and try it. We don't have chopsticks, so we're using our fingers. Okay, here is this one first. I mean, just look at that. It's like we're at a restaurant or something. All right, everyone knows the best part about tempura fried sushi rolls, whatever, 
This is how the tempura is warm and then like the cream cheese is not as warm or like melted kind of. So here we go. I'm gonna go with this one right here. Let's give it a try. Man, I tell you what, this is definitely a good lunch before you head out to go fishing somewhere. Um, I don't know. I just want to take another bite. This is really good. So yeah, I don't even know what to say. Honestly, it's just like, I just like it a lot. So we're just gonna continue to eat this and then we'll see y'all in just a minute. Well guys, me and Nolan are demolishing this plate right here. Um, man, it's just so good. With the cucumber, you get the crunch and then the crunch from the fish and then the cream cheese is always just great on everything. And then the sauce right here gives it a little bit of spice at the end. Wonderful guys, I feel like I'm at a sushi restaurant right here. I'm sure no one really feels like that because he didn't have to do anything. Um, but yeah, we're about to head out guys, go do a little bit more fishing today, try to bring you on another video. As you can see, I've been studying my wave fishing maps right here, looking at what's good for this time of year. Don't know where we're heading out yet, but that's the plan. So made a quick little lunch. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. Leave a comment, let us know if you would try this because this is just something different to do with fish. Instead of the same old, you know, fried fish or baked fish or whatever, make something cool, a little sushi roll or something. So yeah, leave a comment if you wanna try that. Uh, like this video if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe if you're not already. And if you are, like always, I say this every single video. Thank you so much. And until next time, peace.